Hi guys, welcome to Classic TV Facts and Trivia. Thank you for being here. Today's video is on Gomer Powell USMC and how this episode of the show was inspired by a hilarious uh, real mishap that happened to Jim Neighbors. It's common for television writers to draw on real life experiences and inject them into their writing. It helps to inject reality into fictional stories and allows those television characters to feel that much more believable. Plus, sometimes, just sometimes, the universe can create funnier situations than anything the human imagination could think to come up with. This was a situation for Jim Neighbors, better known as Sweet Gomer Powell. You might remember an episode of the Gomer Powell USMC when Gomer holds a wedding ring for a friend before the big day, but loses it after baking and believes the ring might have accidentally been cooked into one of the many loaves of bread he baked. I'll give you three guesses to where the ring is not. Well, that episode was actually based on an event from Neighbors Real Life. Neighbors had been friends with Jimmy Purcell since the 1940s when the two lived in Talladega County during high school. Neighbors had served as Purcell's best man when he had married his wife, Christy Parker. Uh, David Purcell's son, uh, uh, Jimmy's son, spoke with the uh, Montgomery advertiser and said they had invited Jim Neighbors to come up to be the best man, to sing and usher in the wedding. He was the one and only attendant on the groom's side. Brazil was getting married at his Air Force base in Sacramento, California, which meant the neighbors had to visit from L.A., where he was working as a film cutter for NBC. <clears throat> his best man, they also charged him with taking care of the rings before the wedding, a task he took very seriously until he lost it. David Purcell said the day of the wedding, he can't find the wedding ring. Somehow he had misplaced it, so I'm told. He went on, my grandmother was a mess. She goes up to Jim Neighbors and points a finger in his face and says, there will be a wedding today. I've come too far for there not to be a wedding. Fret not, the ring was eventually found, but it was clearly a memorable enough experience that Neighbors knew it would come in handy for an excellent comedy material one day. I, I can imagine the grandmother with her finger in Jim Neighbors' face. I can just imagine that. Uh, and it's one, it's one of the Gomer Pie episodes that I really recall. Uh, I, I don't recall a lot of them. I haven't seen them in years. I really need to go back and start watching them again. But that is one that I remember, and it was a great episode. So if you haven't seen it or if you don't remember seeing it, go back and watch that one, and you'll really enjoy it. That's all I got for you today, guys. I uh, hope you had a great uh, weekend. Uh, please don't forget about the other channels. It's, they're back up and running again today. Um, that's it. You guys, please don't forget to subscribe and please like this video. You guys have a great day. God bless you. And I'm praying for you.